AWS Lambda is a serverless event-driven compute service that allows you to use IAM to manage access to the Lambda API and resources. Hi guys, this is Avi from GokchaDB. And in this video, you're going to learn seven things about Lambda access permissions in AWS. Let's get into it. Number one, every Lambda function has an IAM role called an execution role. In this role, you can attach a policy that defines the permissions that your function needs to access other AWS services. Number two, at the very least, your Lambda function requires access to Amazon CloudWatch logs to enable log streaming. Number three, if your function calls other service APIs with the AWS SDK, you must include the necessary permissions in the execution roles policy. Number four, Lambda also uses the execution role to get permission to read from event sources when you use an event source mapping to invoke your function. Event sources include Amazon DynamoDB, SQS, Kinesis, and more. Number five, to give other accounts and AWS services permission to use your Lambda resources, you should use a resource-based policy. Lambda resources include functions, versions, aliases, and layer versions. Number six, when a user tries to access a Lambda resource, Lambda considers both the user's identity-based policies and the resource resource-based policy. However, when an AWS service such as S3 invokes your Lambda function, only the resource-based policy is evaluated. Last but not the least, number seven. If your Lambda functions contain calls to other AWS resources, it is recommended to restrict which functions can access those resources using the Lambda source function ARN condition key. In summary, by carefully configuring IAM policies, you can ensure that your Lambda functions are secure and accessible only by authorized users and services. There you have it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time.